Hello everyone. Welcome again to another Word for Today with Ray. I'm just so grateful for you and thankful that you're taking the time to listen to the Word of God. My prayer is that it's an inspiration for you to study the Word of God on your own. Uh, you can learn under teachers. You can learn under people that know the Word of God. And you can learn by just reading the Bible and asking Him to share with you uh, personally what He wants you to know in His Word. God speaks to us through His Word so many times uh, in all those different means and methods. So I encourage you to be involved in all of them. And prayerfully, you're in a church where you're they teach the Bible and you're understanding and realizing what God wants you to know through His Word. We go to him in prayer as we begin our studies. So let's, let's talk to the Lord now. Heavenly Father, we're so grateful for you. You gave us life and breath and, Lord, the ability to comprehend and understand your word. And although we don't know it fully, Lord, we know that you do. And that's why we appeal to you by your Holy Spirit to guide us into truth. You said that you would. And, Lord, you, you promised to empower us, to give us the power to live as witnesses before you. And that's our desire today, Lord, that our lives are changed. We ask you to open our hearts and minds, our eyes and ears to receive from you today. And we'll be grateful for what you've done. And we, we're so grateful in Jesus' name. Amen. The title to today's lesson is, A Great Multitude Following Jesus. And it's taken from the book of John, chapter 6, and verse 2. The Apostle John wrote how Jesus went over the Sea of Galilee, which is the Sea of Tiberias. And in chapter 6 and verse 2 of his book, John shared how a great multitude followed him. Where we read, And a great multitude followed him, because they saw his miracles, which he did on them that were diseased. The verse reads, And a great multitude followed him. John began with the words, And a great multitude, or a massive, large, numerous group of people followed him which means joined, sided, and accompanied Jesus. John shared how a massive group of people began to follow Jesus as he arrived in the area around the Sea of Galilee. The verse goes on to say, because they saw his miracles, which he did on them that were diseased. John continued with the words, because they saw his miracles, which means since and on account that the people observed, noticed, discovered, and discerned the wonders, signs, and tokens, which he did on them that he performed, or Jesus performed and produced upon the people that were diseased, which means, <clears throat> which were weak, feeble, needy, and poor, and sick. John shared how the people followed Jesus because they observed the wonders and signs he performed on sick people who were among the massive group of people. When we think through John's words in this verse, we learn how more people became followers of Jesus because they saw him do miracles upon sick people who were in their group. Jesus was constantly curing and helping people who were ill. And because he is the creator of the universe, there is no disease that he could not heal. Jesus came to reveal to the world that he is the Messiah and Christ of God. And when a person believes and trusts in him as their personal Savior and Lord, he will forgive their sins and grant them everlasting life with his Father God in heaven. Let all who read and hear these words believe in Jesus and be saved. Next time, John shares how Jesus went up into a mountain. There he sat with his disciples. So read ahead and we shall join together then. Until tomorrow, there is more. And may the Lord bless you and keep you. May he make his face to shine upon you and be gracious unto you. May the Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace as you continue to study his word in Jesus' name.